FOMO? Fear of missing out in real estate? Is this a real thing? Are people really buying homes because they're afraid of missing out? That's true, there is a lot of FOMO when it comes to real estate, and we're gonna talk about that in today's video. Hi everyone, I am Lisa McBride with Sarasota Neighborhood Experts and Keller Williams Real Estate. I am your real estate resource in Sarasota and Manatee counties. Now, I'd love you to tell me what you think about this. Are people actually buying homes out of fear of missing out? And can this fear, this FOMO actually be driving the housing market, making it stronger and stronger, even though prices are increasing, interest rates are increasing, and inventory is still at an all-time low? Well, we're gonna talk a little bit about this, what we can do to avoid it, and some steps to take to make sure that you're not buying just out of FOMO. First of all, I wanna talk a little bit about our current market because it is still a very, very strong market. However, there are a few little like rays of hope maybe, and that is that our inventory is starting to grow. Now, currently in the past week, we have 1,661 homes on the market in Sarasota and Manatee County, which doesn't sound like a lot, but just a month ago, we only had a little over 1,200. Just because our inventory is growing doesn't mean that our home sales have slowed down or that our average price has dropped or the bidding wars are not still out there. For instance, we are still appreciating two to 4% per month. And in the month of March or throughout April, the average price is now, and this is the average price, are now into the 600,000 and the median price topped 500,000 in the last month which with interest rates rising into the five and a half percent, that really changes affordability. So you wanna be sure you are buying the home of your dreams and not a home out of fear of missing out or FOMO. FOMO is a real emotion though, and our emotions do drive our actions, and whether it's fear or whether it's exuberance. Because if you're seeing all your friends and your neighbors, your cousin, uncle, whoever buy a home and they're talking about it, you may get caught up in the excitement of it. Like maybe you should be buying now too. Everyone else is doing it. Unfortunately, we all tend to follow like that and we all do things out of exuberance or fear and hoping that we don't wanna miss something. It's crazy to say, but I think we've all experienced this. And when it comes to housing, it's a costly mistake. I have received phone calls from people that have bought in the past two years and they're not necessarily happy with the homes. They felt the need to get in, whether at a location or a price point, or they decided they would buy a condo instead of a home. And now granted, luckily, because the market is so strong, these people are able to resell and move on. And also, maybe Florida isn't the perfect location for you. We have so many people moving to the state of Florida, but are you moving for the right reasons? To be in a sunny, warm state is wonderful but is this exactly what your long-term goal is? I know it's not for everyone, even though a lot of people are moving here. Some ways to make sure that this is the right move for you, make sure you have a long-term plan in place and write it out. Write out what your goals are, what your desires are, where do you wanna be in three to five years? And it's okay to not know all the answers to all these questions. Heck, I don't know where I'm gonna be in three to five years. And if somebody told me I was gonna be sitting here in front of a YouTube channel, Five years ago, I'd tell you crazy. So who knows, but there needs to be at least some realistic plan in place. So if this is a home that you've always wanted, then I think that you definitely need to keep moving forward. And let's talk about how we can find you the perfect home in the perfect budget. I truly believe, and I've said in other videos, that we buy because of our own personal needs, not because of the market. We should not be buying based on the market. If you're waiting for the market to go down or you're waiting to sell because you wanna be at the top of the market, it's really hard to predict the market. We can't predict the stock market. We can't predict the outcomes of a football game and we cannot predict when this market is gonna change. But we can predict what our life should look like in the next 12 to 24 months. And if you're retiring and it's time to find the perfect second home or empty nest home, are you just ready for this change? You don't need the big 5,000 square foot home, now's the time to move. Or if you have a family and you're looking for a great school district and you want your kids to grow up around other kids, it's time to move. And that's part of what we go 
through when we talk to all of our buyers and sellers. It's more about what is important for you, what your needs are, and what your goals are in the next three to five years. If you have more questions about the Sarasota Manatee County housing market, how we help our buyers and sellers make the right decision for them, please let me know. I would love to hear from you. Reach out, give us a call, let us know how to help. And also for additional content, I'd love for you to check out my TikTok page. We're having a lot of fun with that. Follow us on Instagram and Facebook. And as always, thank you so much for watching. And until next time, take care.